Hello, welcome to today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. My name is Zoe Abubedo. In our headlines for today, President Ekufuado reacts to those criticizing his 110 ministerial appointments. He says he needs the numbers for his bold developmental agenda. We'll bring you the details of this and many stories. Do say. President Ekufuado has justified his 110 ministerial appointments, saying that he needs the numbers for his bold developmental agenda. Now, on Wednesday, Nana Ekufuado's 54 ministerial appointments received a lot of criticism from Ghanaians. Opposition parties, the National Democratic Congress, and the People's National Convention have described the president's large-sized government as unnecessary, adding it will take a toll on the public purse. But in an interview with Abdul Mumin on GTV, Nana Ekufuadu said with the enormous challenges facing the country, he needed to take some bold measures. Meanwhile, the Center for Democratic Development, CDD, says even though it appreciates the president's rationale for appointing 110 ministers, there are still concerns, especially with the duplication of roles. The head of research and programs at CDD, Dr. Franklin Odro, believes that even though there is justification for the large size of the government, the government must not be oblivious of the challenges the decision is likely to cause. Moving on to other stories, a psychiatrist specialist at the psychiatric department of the Kolibu Teaching Hospital, Dr. Albert Sedohia, has confirmed to City News Daily that Evelyn Boache, the Mawako kitchen staff who was allegedly assaulted by her Lebanese supervisor, attempted suicide yesterday evening. Now, it will recall that Evelyn Boache was allegedly assaulted when her face was shoved in blended pepper. According to Dr. Sedohia, Evelyn nearly succeeded in ending her life, but for the intervention of her relative, who later rushed her to the hospital. Speaking to City News Daily, Dr. Sedohia says Evelyn is currently facing severe psychiatric challenges, hence the decision to admit her at the hospital. We move on to other stories now, and the Vice President, Dr. Mahamud Baumia, has hinted that in the next few weeks, government will announce a policy plan to fight illegal mining, popularly known as Galamse. Now speaking at a roundtable conference organized by the Institute of Green Growth Solution, he says a group of experts are currently developing a document which will outline the modalities in fighting the menace whilst acknowledging the fact that such a policy will face resistance from illegal miners the vice president was quick to indicate government's determination to fight the menace head on and finally to the upper east region now where some 22 police recruits at the Pualugu training school have been sacked according to the police the 22 recruits, made up of 14 women and 8 men, were sacked for presenting fake certificates for admission into the training school. Commander of the Pualugu Police Training School, ACP Victor Edusei Poku, explained to City News Daily that the recruits who spent three months were investigated by the West African Examination Council, WAYEC, and it revealed that their certificates were fake. He also explained that some of them doctored their grades, hence their decision to sack them. And that will be all for today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. My name is Zoe Abubedo. Thanks for watching. Do make a date same time next week. Bye-bye.